We need more concrete evidence. And this vanilla ice cream shortage in the local ice cream shops. It can't just be accounted to late and lost deliveries. It's just, it's, it's, it's too widespread. Misshipments, that's, that still wouldn't make sense. FDA seizures on the highway, I just don't buy it. All signs seem to point. All the evidence seems to point. The vanilla cows are dying off. Hey G, we just got an urgent package from LBN. It must be photographs of the vanilla cow burial sites. Hey look, a tissue. Hey suckers, oops about the mix up. Hope that last review didn't hurt too bad. Ha, I need this next batch tested pronto. Peter Peppers. <laughs> Peppers again? Next up, competitive holiday light decoration. But first, LBN Showcase, the Peter Pepper. Hey y'all, we're the Smith Brothers, and this is the Peter Pepper. Peter Pepper. Don't die. Don't die. Woo! Mmm. Holy crap. That tastes nasty. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh, that's so thick. Mmm. I gotta get it down. Oh, man. I gotta get it down. I'm hiccuping already. Mmm. I still haven't even swallowed. I ate a pepper faster than you. Amazing. I had a giant one. Mine was like this. Oh. Woo. Okay. All right, I feel it on my tongue now. Uh, okay, okay. My hiccups are not really hiccuping too much anymore. Not, okay. That, that was like an immediate burn. I really don't. Very quick. I don't feel it too bad anymore. Very quick. It's, it's an immediate throat burn. Yeah. A residual burn on my tongue. Yeah. Um, that's actually that. I'm getting it right here, right here. It's just, this is like a jaw. Ooh. Yeah, like, like a jaw and a throat burn like here. About here. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. I'm so like, that's. Um, other than it tingling like on my on my tongue. Uh, it's not too bad. Like my tongue and. A little that's bit not right too here, bad. I am perfectly fine. Wow. That is ridiculous. Let's consult. <clears throat> oh. Let's consult the field guide, the chili field guide, uh, for the the Peter Pepper. Oh, seeds flying everywhere. <laughs> Literally, they're you flying. You got seeds all over the table. Clearly, I didn't eat enough of their sleets. Their sleets. If their seeds flying everywhere. <laughs> uh, oh, that's fantastic. Uh, I mean, it was. Uh, personally, from I don't know why he's suffering so well. His was bigger than mine. That's uh, again. <laughs> But yeah, for me it was an immediate pain in my throat and my lips. I still feel it on my tongue, but uh, otherwise I'm all right. Oh, let me do. Let me let me consult the field guide real quick. Mister drinks the eggnog and complains about it not being so bad. Hey, I thought I offered you eggnog. You said no. But yeah, exactly. I wanted to show the people what it's really like. The Peter Pepper, red. It's a uh, it's a hot pepper. It matures from green to red. It's got green leaves. It uses uh, fresh salsa or just eating it straight off of a plate. That would be uh, really good. Uh, salsa, which actually. actually, you know what? My impression with the taste, the taste is actually pretty dang good. It tastes like a, it's a jalapeno like. It tastes like a jalapeno to me. Uh, maybe uh, hotter than a jalapeno. It's on the hotter range. It says it's uniquely shaped. Um, his initial reaction, I think, was it didn't taste very good. I, I personally I didn't like the taste. Didn't like the taste. I really enjoyed the taste, actually. I would say that it was sweet. I would say that it went down like a fruit, 
that was spicy. Um, the 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 texture of it was it was a uh, very thick walled. It's not like a tomato where you just your teeth just slosh into it. It's more like um, it's more like a pepper. It's more like a green pepper. We got two more in the fridge. I'm gonna finish those teeth. I bearded one. Per personally, for me, it, it tasted rather dirtish. Okay. It, super tough. Mm -hmm. it, it felt more like trying to eat a piece of jerky. It was very chewy. It was a medium burn. And I'm, I mean, I'm fine now. It lasted probably about 60 seconds of pain. Yeah. Not, not nearly. Not nearly as bad as a giant white habanero. I definitely psyched myself up um, a lot more for this pepper than it needed to be. I would definitely cook with that. It's got a very, I, I say it's got a sweet taste. It's got a mild burn. The burn is pretty hot, mm. but it's instantaneous and boom. I did it again. I would definitely eat it again. Round two of the Peter Pepper. Mm. Mm -hmm. Much easier this one. It's smaller. Actually, you know what? That one is a lot sweeter than the first one. Right? Maybe it's because I we just we just had the other one, but I'm almost getting no heat. I have this no one too. Off that. Yeah. I think we've become accustomed to it. No burn. Yeah. That second one was just good. It, it, Honestly, it, it, just it, it, very tasty. It was really good. It tasted a lot better than the first one I had personally. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay it down. It's got a unique shape, but it's got an excellent taste. Yes. I would absolutely cook with this. Could you imagine poppers with those? Those would be really good. Oh my gosh! Not a, like substitute a jalapeno popper for a uh, that would be a Peter amazing. Pepper popper. Excellent. I wouldn't even rate it on that not dead scale. It's just, it's just good. I think, I think the average, just getting into spicy stuff. I think you're okay with this pepper. Yeah, well, it's less than a habanero. So. It's got a unique shape, but it's good. It's good. It's good. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Smith Brothers. Don't turn that dial and don't turn up your heat. It's time for blind people painting. <laughs> Blind people painting. <laughs>